what's going on guys so today's tuesday we're going to do like a tackle prep tuesday um i tried to do that series before but uh started running out of things to talk about but uh anyway i'm gonna try to bring it back today um today's tuesday i'm getting ready for my first kayak tournament uh, we have a kayak there's a tournament it's going to be open to any accessible water within an hour and a half drive of the store that the tournament that, that that's putting on the tournament so i've got a spot just right down the road here uh, i'm gonna start pre-fishing starting tomorrow i was going to do it today but we got some major storms rolling in and you might be able to hear the thunder off in the background so i gotta be real quick about this video but uh um, I'm just getting my rods together. I'm getting some things together. Uh, I've already got a shaky head tied on and I've already got a football head jig tied on and I already know I'm going to be throwing a crankbait and I know I'll be throwing maybe a Texas rig worm or lizard or some, so, something like that and uh, probably going to be throwing some swim baits. Um, the shad should be moving back into the pockets. The water should, should have warmed up. It was close. To, it was actually over 80 degrees today so the temperatures have shot way up compared to just the other day they were in the 50s so <laughs> this weather has just been a big roller coaster um i can't wait for it to actually level out and and uh, keep a constant temperature but uh anyway these right here are lnm custom bass snacks they're out of kentucky and uh man i love their baits i, I really do and and i'm really big on supporting local mom and pop shops so um that's just that's why that's what i'm gonna focus my my channel around is is supporting local mom and pop places you know because if we don't support them they're just not gonna be around but uh anyway yeah i got a couple packs here from from these guys um and i'm gonna throw those around with a little swim bait and then uh um little swim bait head and uh texas rig worm and then i've got a ned rig uh tied on just in case so i'm gonna take a total of five rods and uh and figure out figure out what the pattern is hopefully i'll figure something out before saturday um, i'm gonna fish tomorrow and thursday pre-fishing and then friday is going to be the meeting um and then saturday we fish saturday morning so i'm gonna bring the gopro with me along with that and um Hopefully get some good get some good shots. So anyway, uh, I don't have my bass boat. My bass boat's actually at the shop for its annual maintenance. Uh, it's been there for two weeks now, and I think they said they're probably gonna have it for another week, week and a half, maybe two weeks. They're they're just that far behind at the shop. So, which I understand. I mean, it's no big deal. Um, the winter trail's over with, so you know I'm not I'm, I'm not planning on fishing until the fish actually start moving up and spawning. So hopefully I'll get my back my boat back by then. But uh, anyway, all right, guys. So storms rolling in pretty. So I'm gonna go over this really quick. Um, first thing I'm gonna throw is a six eight medium heavy. It's a Dixie custom rod, of course. And I'm gonna be throwing a spinner bait, a little chartreuse, a little white, big old willow willow leaf blades. I got one of those L&M custom bass snacks uh, swim baits on there. These swim, uh, these spinner baits right here are made by a local guy. Um, he just started his own. He's just started making his own tackle stuff, and uh, his name's Logan Lindsay. And uh, man, I <laughs> I like that spinner bait. That thing, that thing's really nice. Real good skirt on it. Real good paint. Uh, I like the way he done the bead separating the blades. And, and just just looks really good. So that's that's gonna be rod number one. I'm gonna use that to kind of um, search around, look for the fish. Crankbait. Uh, that's gonna be a dredger, Berkeley dredger, 10.5, 10 10 and a half. Uh, it's the uh, root beer color. Be throwing that on the. That's uh, a seven foot glass cranking rod by Dixie Custom Rods. Next rod I've got is a seven three medium heavy. Dixie Custom Rods, the Meat Stick Junior, and that's a football head jig by Beast Coast uh, Beast Coast Tungsten Jigs. Um, not exactly sure what color that is, but it's a good looking color. It should work very good right here on Fort Loudon. Next rod I've got is a 7.3 Medium Heavy. 
It's the micro stick and Dixie custom rods of, as as well. Got a just a worm, a little Texas rig worm. Next thing is a seven a six eight. Uh, it's the finesse special by Dixie Custom Rods. I got a shaky head tied on there. And then the one after that, this is going to be what. <laughs> hopefully, if all those fail, this right here will get me bit. But it's a, it's a Ned rig. Little turd worm. I've got it on a 610 medium, extra fast. And this is actually a drop shot rod. But it'll still work for that particular technique. So, anyway, it's going to be the first kayak tournament that I'm going to be fishing Saturday. Um, we're going to try it out. See if it works. Um, hopefully we'll get on some fish. Hopefully get some fish measured. And uh, and uh, hopefully have a good day. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And uh, let me know if you want to see some more kayak fishing videos or if you'd rather see, see me and my big boat out there fishing and, uh, and whatever. Um, you know, let me know down in the comments section what you want to see. Thanks. You guys have a good day. See ya.